Alrighty, welcome back. Um, just a quick video before I head home for the day. I wanted to do a, a little video on this cheap digital readout that I have here that I added to the uh, Outrigger. This, this you could adapt to any crosscut fence. So whether that's just a, you know, uh, one for a regular table saw or whatever, it will work as long as you have a, uh, a groove where the uh, magnetic strip can go into and uh, you know, not interfere with how the, the stop itself clamps to the, to the fence, uh, it should work. And even if that were not the case, um, I don't see a reason why you couldn't adapt it in a different way, put it in a different part of the fence and and just have the uh, the reader or the sensor part uh, mounted on the on the stop in such a way that we'll read that I've just made up an aluminum bracket or aluminium bracket that I've sort of bolted uh, I actually drilled and tapped the end of the uh, of the flip stop and and just bolted this made up sort of bracket and then off that I've drilled and tapped um, some holes to, to mount the, the sensor, I guess, that runs along the magnetic strip. So the magnetic strip sits in the, in the top of the, the uh, outrigger fence and uh, it doesn't hinder how the, the uh, stop works. I did actually have to put, I think, two extra washers under the knob that tightens the the uh, flip stop down um, because before I did that it was actually screwing into the the magnetic strip so thankfully it didn't wreck it but uh, yeah I was probably just lucky in that regard because the magnetic strip is actually the uh, quite an expensive component to the to the system so uh, I would have liked to have tidied up the cable but it just didn't look like a very easy job so I've just sort of made this thing to keep it up out of the way. It looks hokey but it, it does the trick. It is uh, really accurate um, or repeatable like once you set it up um, as long as you don't move the outrigger itself it's it's dead on every time. For a relatively cheap uh, digital readout I'm pretty impressed and it is way way cheaper than buying a uh, um, a Felder version and that would have actually meant that I would have to upgrade the, the whole outrigger to the format 4 outrigger which is bigger it's heavier it's more expensive um, this I think was around about a hundred dollars Canadian yeah, absolutely peanuts compared to uh, to buying a, a genuine Felder one. Beautiful equipment, looks way nicer than this, uh, but I don't really mind how it is. It, it's just what it is. Uh, the simple fact of the matter is it gives me accurate results every time. Uh, and I should point out too that uh, you know I don't need 0.1 of a mil accuracy which is what this will give me um, on most cuts it's where I want to go back to an exact measurement so if I'm cutting a bunch of stuff cross cutting a bunch of stuff uh, for door rails uh, for example, so that when I do my cope and sticking, um, they all end up exactly the same. If I've sort of cut a bunch and then I want to go back and cut some more or, you know, I forgot to cut enough or whatever the case may be, I can go back and know that those cuts are going to be exactly the same as the last time I cut them. And that's what, that's what this is all about for me. I was going to say it's really easy to to adjust it if, if you know I had to adjust it when I put it on this machine. Uh, it's not 
easy to figure it out. I can't, I couldn't tell you, to be honest, uh, how to change it from imperial to metric. I did do that. I think it was in imperial and I changed it to metric or it was in, in metric and I changed it to imperial and decided to go back to, to metric. But there's the instructions for it are all in uh, Mandarin, I guess, coming from China. Um, and it was really, really uh, tough even using Google Translate to try and figure out how, how it all sort of worked. So at least now I know uh, it's really, really easy to set, uh, to change it, uh, where I've been dialing things in and adjusting the slider and I've had to change this uh, to get it uh, cutting or to get it sort of reading accurately and that's super easy so uh, um, so that's a positive um, I wouldn't expect any support uh, it runs off one of the um, oh no it runs off two uh, double A's um, and um, the display is on constantly so you can't turn it on and off there's no light for it however without these on i can still read that clearly 585.1 millimeters so uh, the display is is quite good i have no idea how long it will uh, last on a couple of AA batteries but it's been at least six months so so that's that's good and easy enough to change and obviously double a's are very easy to come by so any questions uh <clears throat> about this setup and and uh how you could potentially adapt it to any other sort of uh cross cut fence or whatever yeah ask in the comment section below and i'll try and uh answer that for you so uh don't forget if you uh, like the video hit like and uh, and if you haven't already subscribed please do so because that uh, will help me out so and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next video thanks